Today we're exploring an exciting new treatment that can help prevent squamous cell carcinoma and that's a common form of skin cancer. This new therapy is quicker, longer lasting and works in a much shorter time frame than traditional effudex or 5-fluorouracil as it's also known. It requires a four day treatment compared to the usual four weeks of effudex. So if you ever have rough scaly patches on your skin known as actinic keratosis, this video is for you. These patches of actinic keratosis can sometimes turn into squamous cell carcinoma and this new treatment helps to reduce that risk. So let's start with those rough scaly patches. Actinic keratosis or AKs, they're sometimes called solar keratosis. Now they're a result of years of sun damage accumulating over many years outdoors and they are occurring on areas that get a lot of sun like the face and the scalp. If left untreated, some of these patches can progress onto squamous cell carcinoma and that's a type of skin cancer that can cause serious issues if it spreads. And that's why treating actinic keratosis early is so important. In the past, using Effudex alone for four weeks was shown to reduce the SCC risk, but that protection tended to fear a year after the treatment. So many people find that the full four weeks of Effudex treatment is also pretty challenging because it causes a lot of inflammation and discomfort. This new study suggests that adding calcipatriol, which is a form of vitamin D used often to treat psoriasis, adding that to the Effudex extends the protective effects. Just four days of this combo combination treatment keeps the face and scalp less likely to develop SCC and works for up to at least three years, making it not only more effective, but much easier to manage. Now, calcipatriol is a form of vitamin D that helps activate your immune system, while effudex is a type of chemotherapy and that targets the sun damaged cells. When combined, they create a powerful treatment that not only clears the damaged skin, but also supports your body's defense system in preventing SCC skin cancers from forming in the first place. I'll explain how it works and how to apply it, but if you're new here, I'm Dr. Finbar, a GP now specializing in dermatology. All right, so how does this combination treatment work? Well, let's bring in a golfing analogy to help explain it. Now, imagine the sun damage area on your skin is a golf ball on the tee. Now, these are the patches of damaged cells that we want to clear away. So first up is calcipatriol, and it acts like the caddy, setting up the shot by marking the damaged cells for attention. It triggers a special signal protein called a cytokine, which alerts the immune system to the target. This setup tells the immune system them, hey look here's the target and get everything ready and lined up for the big shot. Then comes in the second part the effudex which swings in like the golf club itself and with a powerful stroke it hits those damaged cells effectively knocking them out of the way and off the course which is what we want in this case. But the magic doesn't stop there. This combination treatment also builds up a team of memory T cells which act like the course groundkeepers. These memory cells stick around in the skin especially on areas like the face and the scalp, keeping watch so that if any more trouble arises, they're ready to respond. Now, thanks to this tag team approach, the combination not only clears up sun damaged cells, but also helps set up long lasting defense. And the study that I mentioned already shows that after three years, 93% of the people who used the combination treatment were still free of SCC, and only 72% of those using the Effudex and the Vaseline alone were free. So as of 2024, when I'm making this video, there isn't a single product combining both the Effudex and the Kilsipa trial, but there is an easy way to use them together for effective results. Some specialized pharmacies can mix them into a single cream for you, but if that's not an option, here is the simplest approach. Start by putting on the Effudex first directly to the affected area and give it a few minutes to absorb into the skin. And once the Effudex has had a chance to settle in, follow that up with the layer of calcipatriol. Now, since calcipatriol is an ointment, applying it second helps create a barrier and it locks in the Effudex for maximum impact. Do this morning and night for four days. Keep in mind though that this treatment works best on the face and the scalp where sun damage tends to be more pronounced. It wasn't really shown to help prevent any other types of skin cancer such as BCC um, and it wasn't tested on areas like the arms but still it could be very useful for people at high risk of SCC. You must also expect some inflammation with this treatment often beginning around the end of treatment at day four or five as you finish up. This reaction 
reaction is part of how the treatment works, so don't be alarmed. It should settle down within a week or two, and you can apply a moisturizer as this can help the area to heal. So to sum up, this calcipatriol and Effudex combination treatment is showing promise in lowering the risk of squamous cell carcinoma in people with lots of sun damaged skin. Although you'll need to discuss the most appropriate treatment for you directly with your doctor on an individual basis. This combination is another tool in our fight against skin cancer, especially for those of us with fair skin and a history of sun exposure. If you've ever wondered about the different types of skin cancer and how they compare, watch this next video. I break down the main differences between each kind of skin cancer so that you'll know what to watch for and how to keep your skin safe. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. See you in the next one.